It's important for people to realize that it's human and that it's completely normal to get distracted, that you're never going to get to a point in your life where you have zero distractions. It's just not possible. It becomes how quickly can you become aware that you're being distracted or that you're not focused and then how quickly can you adjust and get back on track. What is required when you're adding stuff is that you eliminate the distractions. And what I have found through this process is when you know, there's no contingency plan when failure is not an option in, in the addition of these activities that you become grossly aware of those little pockets of time where you're just wasting precious minutes. You have so much more time in your day that you don't realize you're wasting. And if everybody here, if you literally did this and 99% of you won't, but if you literally did this where you put an alert in your phone where it alerted every 30 minutes and it just said, what are you doing? And you took a note, just write in your iPhone in the notes, like what you did the last 30 minutes. You would realize that you probably have four hours, maybe more of just stupid, stupid, mindless distraction, non-income producing stuff, right? Because once you see it, and if you're honest with yourself and you can see these different times where you're just wasting, you're just wasting the day away, then you have the ability to take it back. But you can't take what you can't see. So you have to be able to see it first. And putting an alert in your phone and having that pop up and taking an honest audit of what did I do over the last 30 minutes uh, is gonna be a great, great, great way uh, to do that. And I say precious minutes because it's in those minutes that add up over time and all of a sudden you look back and you've got an hour, two hours, three hours of your day that are completely wasted. And so, at this point in this 75 hard journey, like I've gotten to the point where I just completely disrespect distractions, just absolute dis disrespect for distractions. I've just found that people find time for the things that are important to them. Add structure to your life and starve your distractions. My nature is to be lazy. So I have to put accountability and structure in place to combat that every single day. And when you add that type of structure into your life, you will be amazed how all of a sudden those distractions start to go away. They won't completely go away. They'll still be there, but you'll become very aware of them because you're in tune with what you're supposed to be doing during that time. But those seven minutes, those five minutes, those three minutes here, this, this random meaningless conversation with this person here, this argument over here, this uh, time scrolling through social media here, this, you know, all this stuff added up over the course of a day amounts to hours. And guys, that stuff is robbing you of your capacity. And it's robbing you of your um, peace and happiness. Because we all, you know, everyone's talking about balance. And they're talking about, man, I just, if I, if I only had the time, if I only had the time, if I only had the time, I'm here to tell you that you have the time. You're just wasting so much of it. And you're not wasting it in hour long chunks. You're wasting it in three to seven minute intervals. But when you become acutely and in, in just increasingly aware of those moments when you're wasting time, then you can adjust accordingly. And you can find pockets of time in your day to where now, like I'm not only getting the stuff that I'm getting, that I need to get done for 75 hard, I'm finding so much more time to get other stuff done.